Wherever gases, vapors and aerosols occur, safeguarding human life and the environment takes priority. And ensuring safety and protection depends on being able to take fast, reliable measurements. With the Dreger Exact 5000 automatic tube pump, Dreger has ushered in a new era of gas measurement. For the first time, this brand new pump model enables measurements to be taken with Dreger short-term tubes and sampling using just one single Dreger tube pump. The Dreger Exact 5000 is extremely easy to operate. The tube pump is ideal for the reliable measurement and sampling of gases, vapors and aerosols. The following chapters contain an overview of the functions and uses of this automatic tube pump. Study the following scenes, read the instructions for use carefully, and if you have any questions, contact your Dreger representative. The Dreger Exact 5000 features a robust ergonomic design. What's more, it's suitable for use in explosive gas atmospheres. For measurements in inaccessible areas, the tube pump can be used with extension hoses up to 30 meters in length. The three-button system of the Dreger Exact 5000 can even be easily operated when wearing protective gloves, thanks to the size of the buttons and the menu structure is simple and intuitive. On the bottom right is a barcode reader. The invisible laser beam can read barcodes on the back of Dreger short-term tube packaging. When the barcode reader has scanned the barcode, the name of the substance to be measured, the number of strokes and the appropriate measuring range are automatically shown in the tube pump's display. This simplifies the preparation of measurement using Dreger short-term tubes and minimizes possible error. After the measuring range has been selected, measurement can start without any additional settings. The display of the Dreger Exact 5000 is extremely bright and can even be clearly read in direct sunlight. It consists of two parts. The upper section is a segment display showing the number of strokes, the flow rate, the measuring time and various icons. The lower section of the display is a matrix display comprising two lines used to show menus and options. Using the blue arrow keys, the user can choose which option to carry out and then confirm it by pressing the green OK button. The error icon is displayed along with an error code or a message in plain text. Once the error has been dealt with, the operating step or measurement may have to be repeated. The warning icon is shown with a message in plain text. The progress bar shows that the pump is currently carrying out an action, such as a leak test or flow adjustment. The explosion icon indicates that under no circumstances should this measurement be performed in an area at risk of explosion, since the Dreger tube used will heat up during it. This icon shows you the battery level. As soon as it drops below 16%, the icon turns into an empty battery and starts flashing. At this point, you must either recharge or replace the battery. We'll explain how this is done in more detail later on. To the left and right at the bottom of the tube pump are the LEDs. The LEDs flashing green means a measurement is complete. The LEDs will keep flashing until the OK button is pressed. If the LEDs flash green twice, this means the barcode has been correctly scanned. If the LEDs flash red, an error has occurred. The LEDs will flash until the OK button is pressed. In order to deal with the error, read the error code or message in the display and check all the connections, measuring parameters and tubes. If necessary, restart measurement. The 
As soon as the battery indicator starts flashing, you need to recharge the batteries. Plug the charger into the battery connector on the rear of the tube pump housing. Note that the tube pump cannot be used during recharging. The battery can also be recharged when removed from the tube pump. In addition, the battery can be replaced, including by an alkaline battery pack. Unscrew the two screws of the battery case and remove the battery. You can now insert a fully charged battery. If you want to use an alkaline battery pack, only the alkaline batteries specified in the operating instructions may be used. Insert the batteries, slide the battery pack into the battery pack holder and screw it tight. Turn on the tube pump using the OK button. Keep the OK button pressed until the tube pump is counted down from 3 to 1. As soon as you see this screen, the tube pump is switched on. The Dreger Exact 5000 will now perform a self-test routine. After turning on, the message Leak Test or Skip Leak Test always appears in the display. Dreger recommends always carrying out a leak test before using the tube pump. Press the OK button when leak test is shown with a grey background in the matrix display. To conduct a leak test, the tube pump will ask you to check whether there is a Dreger tube still in the tube holder and if so to remove it and then to place an unopened tube in the tube holder on top. Then press the OK button to start the leak test. Once the test has been successfully completed, the tube pump is ready for use. In the password protected menu, the leak test can be set as an obligatory test. In this case, a leak test will always have to be carried out once the chosen interval has expired. The warning icon will appear in the display and no measurement can be carried out until a leak test has been conducted. To switch off the tube pump, Press the up and down button simultaneously. The tube pump will now count down from 3 to 1. Afterwards, an automatic flushing cycle will start to remove any residual reaction gases. This will take about 5 to 10 seconds. The tube pump will then power down. Turn on the tube pump. Carry out the leak test. Confirm that the leak test has been carried out successfully by pressing the OK button. The green flashing stops and the menu selection is shown. Choose between the individual measuring functions shown in the display by using the blue arrow buttons. Select the short-term tube measuring function and press the green OK button to confirm. Using the arrow buttons, go to Measurement Air and then Barcode Operation Air, pressing the OK button each time. One or more favorite operating modes can be set in the password protected menu. In the matrix display, you'll be requested to scan the barcode on the Dreger tube box. You have 30 seconds to do so. Slide the barcode over the scanner. If the LEDs flash green twice, this means scanning was successful. The display shows the tube part number and the name of the substance to be measured. Check this information and assuming the barcode has read the correct Dreger tube, confirm it by pressing the OK button. The measuring ranges are now shown in the matrix display while the appropriate number of strokes appears in the segment display. Take the Dreger tube out of the box and open it on both sides by using the integrated opener at the back of the tube pump. Place the opened Dreger tube in the tube holder. 
The arrow on the tube points to the pump. After selecting the measuring range by using the blue arrow buttons, press the OK button to start measuring. The tube pump will now start measuring. Once measuring is complete, the LEDs flash green. Confirm that measuring has been successfully completed by pressing the OK button to either finish or continue measurement. The tube shows the concentration of the substance measured depending on its content by changing color. Once measurement is complete, remove the Träger tube. Turn on the tube pump. Carry out the leak test. Confirm that the leak test has been carried out successfully by pressing the OK button. The green flashing stops and the menu selection is shown. Choose between the individual measuring functions shown on the display by using the blue arrow buttons. Select the short-term tube measuring function and press the green OK button to confirm. Using the arrow buttons, go to Measurement Air and then Manual Operation Air, pressing the OK button each time. One or more favorite operating modes can be set in the password protected menu. Take the Dräger tube out of the box and open it on both sides by using the integrated opener at the back of the tube pump. Place the opened Dräger tube in the tube holder. The arrow on the tube points to the pump. Enter the number of strokes by using the blue arrow buttons and confirm each decimal place entered by pressing the OK button. The message Strokes OK and Start then appears in the matrix display. Now press the OK button to instruct the Draeger Exact 5000 to start measuring. Once measuring is complete, the LEDs flash green. The tube shows the concentration of the substance measured depending on its content by changing color. You can now finish the measurement or continue using the same tube. To continue, change the number of strokes manually and then press the OK button to start measurement. Once measurement is complete, remove the Träger tube. The Träger Exact 5000's corrosion prevention is enhanced by an internal SO3 filter. This traps any SO3 vapors and aerosols. To replace the filter, loosen the two screws and remove the SO3 filter flap. Remove the spent SO3 filter and insert a new one. Afterwards, replace the filter flap and screw it tight. If required, enter the replacement date in the password protected menu under Change SO3 Filter. Turn on the tube pump. Carry out the leak test.
Choose between the individual measuring functions shown on the display. Use the arrow buttons to select short-term tube and then measurement in technical gases and press the OK button. By the way, one or more favorite operating modes can be set in the password protected menu. The tube pump will ask you to check whether there is a drag of tube still in the tube holder and if so to remove it. Make sure the tube holder is empty and confirm by pressing the OK button. The Draeger Exact 5000 will now ask you to insert a resistance tube in order to adjust the flow required for measurement in technical gases. This is necessary to adapt the pump to the viscosity of a technical gas, which is different from that of ambient air. Insert the resistance tube into the tube holder and connect it to the technical gas where measurement is to take place. Confirm by pressing the OK button. The Draeger Exact 5000 will now adjust itself automatically. As soon as adjustment is complete, the LEDs flash green. The message, Remove Resistance Tube, appears in the display. Once you've removed the resistance tube and pressed the OK button, the green flashing stops. Take the Draeger tube out of the box and open it on both sides by using the integrated opener at the back of the tube pump. Connect the hose to the tube holder of the pump. Insert the tube into the other end of the hose. The arrow on the tube points to the pump. Now connect the tube to the technical gas where measurement is to take place. Enter the number of strokes by using the blue arrow buttons and confirm each decimal place entered by pressing the OK button. The message, Strokes OK and Start, then appears in the matrix display. Now press the OK button to instruct the Draeger Exact 5000 to start measuring. To correct the number of strokes, use the arrow button to select Set Strokes in the matrix display. Once measurement is complete, the LEDs flash green. The tube shows the concentration of the substance measured depending on tend by changing color. You can now finish measurement or continue using the same tube. Continue, change the number of strokes manually and then press the OK button to start measurement. Once measurement is complete, remove the Draeger tube. You can now carry out another measurement or return to the main menu. If you want to leave the mode, measurement in technical gases, or carry out measurement in other technical gas, the Draeger Exact 5000 will request you to make sure the tube holder is empty. Make sure the tube holder is empty and confirm by pressing the OK button. An automatic flushing cycle will then start. This will take about 5 to 10 seconds. Afterwards, the tube pump will return to the main menu. Turn on the tube pump. Carry out the leak test. Choose between the individual measuring functions shown on the display. Use the arrow buttons to select Sample Taking and press the OK button. Take a sampling tube out of the box and open it on both sides by using the integrated opener at the back of the tube pump. Place the sampling tube in the tube holder. The arrow on the tube points to the pump. The tube pump will now ask you to enter the flow rate. 
Use the arrow buttons and confirm each decimal place entered by pressing the OK button. You will then be asked to enter the sampling time. Use the arrow buttons and confirm each decimal place entered by pressing the OK button. The message Set OK and Start now appears in the matrix display. Press the OK button to instruct the Draeger Exact 5000 to start sampling. During the sampling, the measuring time which has elapsed and the volume of air pumped so far are shown in the display. When sampling is complete, the LEDs flash green. Finish sampling by pressing the OK button. You can then take another sample or return to the main menu.